Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is a video lesson recording for Empowerment Technologies, and we are now in Module 2, which is Web Page Design Using Templates and Online WISIWYG Platforms. So, WISIWYG stands for What You See Is What You Get. For this module, your performance task will be to create your own website with an advocacy plan. And the most essential learning competencies for this module are for you to be able to identify local or regional cause or issue for social change related to specific professional tracks that can be addressed or tackled using an ICT project for social change. Also, for you to analyze how target or intended users and audiences are expected to respond to the proposed ICT project for social change on the basis of content, value, and user experience. Lastly, to integrate rich multimedia content in design and development to best enhance the user experience and deliver content of an ICT project for social change. So some definition of terms. WYSIWYG editor, or what you see is what you get editor. It allows you to create and design a web page without any coding knowledge. So for example, later, we will try using MS Word or uh, Jimdo, which is a website that allows you to create your own web pages without prior knowledge about computer programming or web development. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and this is the language that is used by programmers to create websites and files that can be interpreted by the web browsers. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets, and this is a specific program file which includes all of the styles and different formats for a specific website or web page. Jimdo is a free website provider with what you see is what you get editor. A template is a ready-made design for a website. So for example, if you're using Blogspot or maybe WordPress, it has already predefined templates that you can just use and you will be able to create your own website. And then we have SEO, stands for Search Engine Optimization. It is a feature that maximizes the search engine optimization feature so that visitors can easily locate your website. So for example, if you search something in Google, as you can see, it has uh, results. But these results are based on a lot of things, like for example, keywords, the number of visits, or sometimes they pay Google so that their uh, ads or their websites are on top of the results. However, there is a feature, which is the search engine optimization, which allows you to create or to add specific keywords to your own website so that people who are interested in such topics or such keywords will be able to find your website easily. Online platforms and what you see is what you get. First of all, let's talk about online platforms and what you see is what you get. What are online platforms? Online platforms are websites that help individuals create web pages easily by using templates and other tools. But actually, in reality, online platforms are anything that is on the website or on the internet, I should say. It is accessible through the internet. That is an online platform. Also, there are different types of online platforms. For example, it might be a social media platform. It might be a video sharing platform, so different types, okay? But in this specific module, we are talking about editors or websites that are offering this type of service so that we, individuals, who does not have prior coding knowledge, will be able to create our own web pages, okay? So what you see is what you get is an editor that allows you to create and design web pages without any coding knowledge. You can use Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel as a what you see is what you get editor. Later on, we will try Microsoft Word. Jimdo is another what you see is what you get web hosting service offering free and paid services. Jimdo has tools that will allow you to sell your products online, create your own photo gallery and videos and many more. You can also maximize search engine by properly tagging your website. Also, not just Jimdo, there are many more websites out there that are offering the same features as Jimdo. And most of them are free. You just have to search for it on Google or in any search engine that you are using. But before that, before we go ahead and try creating our own web page, let's talk first about social change. 
according to Britannica, in sociology, social change is the alteration of mechanisms within the social structure characterized by changes in cultural symbols, rules of behavior, social organizations, or value systems. So, in every area or place where people reside, there is usually social interactions. And from these social interactions, we have our social norms. They the common thing or the norms within our society that unconsciously or without us even knowing, we follow and we try to fit ourselves into the standards or norms of the society that we are a part of. So for example, whenever you go outside your house, it is one of our social norms to dress properly. You cannot go outside, you know, being too undressed. However, in some communities, you know, in some countries or in some places, they created this social movement or a different, you know, a social change wherein they are trying to normalize people who are undressed or uh, what they call this one. In some places, they are even naked, you know. And this is actually a social change because before, if you're going to look back into the Victorian era for, you know, medieval culture and social norms in Europe, you can clearly see them. You know, the girls are wearing long dresses every single day. And if, if their ankles are exposed, they feel embarrassed. But nowadays, you can see people wearing short shorts or skinny jeans which are ripped or a midriff or crop tops, you know, these things, which would be scandalous in the time of medieval Europe, you know. But those are all social changes. So different value systems are changed. In the Philippines, if you're going to um, relate it to the context of the Philippines, before, we have the Filipina image of Maria Clara, which is a very demure type of lady. When, when she laughs, she covers her mouth with a fan, and you cannot even hear her laugh, only small giggles, you know. But nowadays, you can see a lot of Filipino girls who are you know, not so very Maria Clara anymore. You know, like, you see them in, in modernized clothes and a little bit westernized. And uh, not just that, they, they are, uh, what do you call this one? They create their own content and they make jokes and they laugh and they laugh freely. And that's okay because that's the, the, the social norms that we are living in right now. But, but in contrast or in comparison to the um, traditional or old image of a Filipina, it is very different. So that in itself is social change. Okay, and that is modernization actually. So some recent social changes in the Philippines are, I, I have already given an example about modernization, industrialization and urbanization. Before, we are, most of us living in provincial state of life, but nowadays, a lot of cities are rising and thus creates a whole different type of lifestyle. And for example, there are a lot more establishments uh, that offer different types of services like um, superstores or malls, huge malls and uh, food delivery essentially exploded especially in the time of pandemic that is why more and more people you know just utilize this feature instead of really cooking their own meals at home so I'm not saying that it's a bad thing I'm just trying to point out that that is one of the social changes recently in the Philippines as well as technology you see, especially in the advent of the uh, pandemic around 2020, of course, we have kind of normalized that every single household should have internet access. Or not exactly each household, but most of us have to have an access to the internet. Especially when we moved from the traditional face-to-face -face classes to the online classes. It's like every single day, individuals here in the Philippines are on their phones or on their notebooks, laptops, or computers, and they are accessing the internet. Next one is population and iba iba siya no, ng effect. Let's say for example, sa paglaki ng population natin, medyo tumaas ang poverty. Pero, it also gave, you know, opportunity na mas marami ang magiging employees at mas marami ang mag-aaral and therefore, in the long run, ang dadami din ang ating workforce or uh, adding up to the bureaucracy or the elites of the country 
So there are a lot of things that change due to our population explosion. And also education, especially in pinatapad um, free tuition sa mga universities. That really changed our education. However, there is also something that changed in our educational system. Like for example, pagdating ng Kito Pelf, no way. Because if you are going to compare the educational system before and now, like in our era or in our batch, we graduated early from high school and attended college at such a young age. So may mga iba-ibang repercussions yun. No? Attending college at such a young age, may iba-ibang repercussions yun. It might be that we were, not, we were not able to really find a true career path or uh, lucky for other people who entered college as young as 15 or 16 and was able to really find a good degree and a good career path that they really like and they were able to graduate at around 19 or 20 so that's good however nowadays in the K-12 system of course you have two years of senior high school so there is no possibility that you could graduate at the age of 19 or 20 most of the graduates that we have now in college are in 22 or 23 because of the addition of two years of senior high school and some might argue that because of the um, additional two years of senior high school, some of our teenagers at the age of 17, 18, 19, who are still in senior high school, kasi nga sa batch namin, we needed to be mature at an early age or, or around 15 or 16 because college student kami at that time, no? Pero sa inyo ngayon, nag-iba na siya, kasi nga you are treated as high school even if you are now already 17, 18, 19 and you act high school. The maturity level is somewhat delayed or bumagal. Well, that's that's one of my uh, observation, personal observation. But in other, you know, there are also researches that actually say that one that's one of the effects of the new educational system that we have right now. Next is public health and medicine. Accessibility of public health, especially in the in the rise of telemedicine, you know, telecommunications medicine, where Doctors can now talk to people in, in uh, far away or far off places and they can give them advice, they can give diagnosis through online means. And that is really good, right? Unlike that, eh, na inaccessible. Walang access yung mga tao na yun uh, towards public health and medicine. But nowadays, due to you know, still technology, this has been changed. And also recreation. If you're going to look again at the generation, uh, yung batch namin, kami mga matatanda na ngayon, you know, we are not, um, what do you call this one, into esports or uh, too much online gaming. Because, kasi nga, kahit may online games na sa panahon namin, you know, meron ng Dota, meron na rin Ragnarok. However, you know, we, we lack the, the gadgets, we lack the internet connection. We have to go to internet cafes to be able to game and also the internet, the internet fee before is much higher than what you are paying right now today. Meron ka lang G's pesos, makakalaro ka na ng Mobile Legends for a long time. Diba? Unlike sa amin dati, aalis ka pa ng bahay, pupunta ka sa internet cafe, magbabayad ka doon, 15 pesos per hour. Kasi kasi there's a difference, right? Ang, ang, ang ngayon, kung G's pesos mo, pwede nang tumagal ng isang buong araw, 24 hours. Sa amin dati, ang 15 pesos namin, isang oras lang. And, and, and aside from that, you are in an internet cafe. So, hindi lang ikaw yung doon. Hindi lang ikaw at mga kaibigan mo. Pero may ibang tao din. So, it's a public place, so if it's a public place, you cannot act as if you are in a private place, diba? So unlike you, you can um, play games in, your, in the comfort of your home, you know, and you can, you can do whatever you like when you are at home. So it's really different. So recreation has really changed in the recent times here in the Philippines. As well as you can see the slangs that you are using. Dati ibang slang ng generation namin. Kayo, you have a lot of different slangs that you are using, especially when you are using social media platforms. You know, may mga, you know, like LOL, ROFL, these kind of things, OMG, uh, SMH, um, AFK, all of these things. And those are all social changes because you think that it's normal because you are living in this era. But we, you know, parang kami na buhay sa <laughs> ibang klase generation, we feel as if that is different, and that is actually social change. Okay. Next is leadership and national development. Iba no, napakalaking pagpabago. As you can see nowadays, our focus is different. Dati more on development and uh, pagbangon, no, galing sa pagkalugmok ng Pilipinas. But nowadays, it's more on being at par with different countries in Southeast Asia. 
um, trying to be globally competitive with other countries. Okay, so those are the recent social changes in the Philippines. But however, this is the only list that we have right now. But there are a lot more social changes that happened in the Philippines in the recent years. So how are you going to identify the local or regional costs for social change in your own area? So there are some things or some points that you can focus on. So for example, environmental issues. If you have any issues in your community that needs um, or that calls for social change, anything about environmental issues like, for example, this is actually uh, in, relate, in relation or tied up with so, uh, solid waste management. If you, if you are not following the proper solid waste management, that in the there is some bad effects at the environment. So if in your community you are seeing any not so very good solid waste management, then you can try to advocate for this one and create a website that will educate your peers or your target audience so that they will be educated on proper solid waste management. Also public health and safety, especially even though we are now in post-pandemic, you still have to be careful. So you can create websites informing people of uh, different ways to be safe and reminding people about the safety health protocols in your area. You can do that one as well. Or in education, because not everybody has access to education. And uh, due to the pandemic as well, we depended heavily, we are um, dependent on modules. Marami ang feedback na walang natutungan ng mga bata. So you can create a website or create a Facebook page perhaps. No? It's also a page, it's also a website that will teach young students or I don't know, high school students perhaps, of different things like maybe reading comprehension, reading skills, or numeracy skills, or anything that you think you can help towards the education of these students or these young people. Okay, but there are a whole lot more uh, local or regional costs or issues that you can tackle. It actually depends on you. You can search for it. You can ask your local government units or yung mga taos in yung barangay, but Mm, if you cannot, and also for your uh, health safety purposes, you can search online and try to focus on one specific problem para hindi masyadong broad yung inyong mga websites. Okay? So now, let's try to create a web page using MS Word. So, these are the steps. So I have opened an MS Word and I am just really going to follow these steps. So first open the Microsoft Word, I already opened, type anything on the page, okay, let me type, hello world, okay, okay, and then click on file, save as, type any file name. Ah, okay, I have to choose this one. Ah, this one. Okay, still the same name though. Mm -hmm. Can I have a page title? ETEC web page. I think, I think this page title, guys, is the title of the page. Uh, is displayed in the title bar of the browser. This is this one. Uh, let me just save this one. Um, for example, this is, uh, what do you call this one? Google. Uh, this is an empty web browser and this is the title this part in the upper part so for example if i am going to go to this website the title page or the title of the web page is this one islamic fiqh you see this is the title so since i changed the title for this one uh, you will we will see it later when we open this in a browser and as you can see once we saved it as an html nagbago ang kanyang setup right Kanina, meron siyang margin and whatnot, but now it's different, okay? So next, what's the next step? Click the change title button. Oh, I already did! Okay, the title that you will be, uh, you will input here is the one that users will see in the tab. Okay, open your saved file and you will see that you just created a web page using the MS Word. Open. I think we should open it in here. Okay. But later, okay, I will I will open it later, but let me just change this first um, because it's it's a bit, I don't know, parang napakakonti lang kung yun lang yung gagawin natin. Let's try adding a uh, text box. Mm. And then, oh no, 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 word art pala, word art. Uh, 
let's use this one and then let's say empowerment technologies then pag gitna lang siguro natin I don't know okay gitna na ba yan okay tapos sabihin natin na mm. oh no 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 okay let's say lagyan natin ang margin konti and um let's say this is my first web page so medyo lakihan natin to and also let's try to put in cute um diba hmm ito kaya is this okay hmm okay this is my first web page hmm masyado bang malayo I'm not very good with design guys I'm sorry okay and then let's just say let's add a picture kaya okay let's say what pictures do I have here hmm Okay. Mm. Okay. Let's see. We don't have. I don't have good pictures. Mm. I really don't have good pictures. Apparently. Um. How about this one? Oh. Uh, how about this one? Mm -hmm. And then let's just say, let's put in some. Ah, no! I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, no. This one? Is that okay? Or this one? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Ah, wait. So that we can. I can't? Okay. And then let's say I will add a text box. And then let's say we are going to add some quotes here. How about if it's mm. and then shape effects, shadow. You can actually do anything you want, guys. It's your ano. Ito yung kung ataw dito kayo. Bahala kung paano niyo gusto kong gawin. Mm. Doesn't look good. Ah, no. Balik ka dapat. Then maybe you can add like I don't know a quote. Uh, let's try to find quotes here. <laughs> uh, mm, let's say prayer. Mm, well, my let's find some quotes or um, mm, mm. It's good. Let's copy this one. Guys, pero kung magka-copy-paste tayo, guys, make sure, ano, ha? Kunin nyo yung tawag dito. Kunin ninyo ang website. And then, i-ano ninyo sila. I- tawag dito. Acknowledge. Because they are the one who... Okay. So, pwede kayo mag-ganyan. And then, mag-ganyo dito, source. Then we just copy this one, paste. Okay. Pwedeng ganyan ang gagawin natin. Sample lang naman ito guys. Again, kayo bahala kung paano nyo gawin yung inyong website. And this is only a sample. You can use better websites later on like Jimdo or something else. So save. Let's try opening this one. Ayan. As you can see, it's a web page. Ito yung una kong sinave. Docx lang siya, di ba? Document lang siya. But this is the one that we are working on earlier. And it's already, ang icon niya is a web browser. Meaning, this can be opened by a web browser. So, pwede natin siyang i-open through different types of web browser. Like, for example, meron akong Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, and um, Brave, perhaps. Let's try Google Chrome. Oh! Nag-ibalagi nag ang ano. Okay. Nag-iba ang format. The thing about uh, using Microsoft Word is that, of course, yun na nga, no, mahirap siya i-tawag dito, mahirap siya i-manipulate. So, mas maganda siguro kung gamit tayo ng Jimdo or any other website that could help us in creating web pages. Na merong template na pwede natin gamitin and click, click, click lang, meron na tayong web page. 
So, para makapunta tayo sa Jindo, punta lang tayo sa Jindo. Okay, this one. Hmm, ito kaya. I think I created a Jindo website before as well, guys. It's also for um, educational purposes last year. But I'm not sure kung ano yung, ano ko. Nakalimutan ko na yung aking website. Should we just go on and let's get started? Okay, maybe sign up with Google. I think I already have an account and Jimdo will probably know this. Okay, so this is what a dashboard of a Jimdo looks like. Baka iba yung makita niyo guys because again, uh, it might be your first time accessing Jimdo. But with me, it's like this kasi nga uh, meron na akong account before. So what you can do is find somewhere that it says edit a website or create a new website. So perhaps if I go to my websites, ito yung ginawa ko last time for uh, the other grade 11 students. And I can add a new website. So for you, just like how you explored Facebook.com or Instagram or Twitter or YouTube, the first time you should use it, all of the things in the user interface of a website will help you. Okay, so read the things. If iba yung nakikita ninyo pag punta nyo sa Jindo, it might be different. But just try to find a button perhaps that says new website or create a website. Okay, and then click on new website. Okay, and this will appear and it will ask you, how do you want to create your website? So, okay, so dito tayo. <laughs> Although I have uh, coding knowledge, however, this one is for you. So let's try this one. Okay, now guys, uh, I wanted to look at this one. CMS.jimdo.com, wizard persons. Ang CMS dyan, guys, it's, uh, stands for Content Management System. And if I'm not mistaken, natakal na natin yan siya dati. Diba? So this is a part of the Jimdo where you can manage or content management system. So you can manage the content that you would like to be included or that will be included onto your website. So who are you creating a website for? For now, um, let's say it's an individual. Okay? Next. A personal project. Okay, yes. Okay. What's the name of your business project? Let's say ETEC twenty twenty two. Okay. And then what are the goals of your website? Okay, so you guys it might be different, no? But uh, you can say promote your content, no? But let's just say for now share my portfolio. Collect oh no, no. Skip this step. What is your website about? Ayun. So, kailangan talaga, before tayo magawa ng website, kailangan na, ano yun na, no? Na, specify nyo na kung anong klase social, uh, or, or local or regional cause, or issue that you would like to call for a social change. So, dapat meron na kayong advocacy plan, and then, saka natin, or saka nyo makagawa ng ganito. So, for example, if you are going to have literacy program, perhaps, for kids, then you can do continuing education or coaching. Or if, you're, if you want to help in IT literacy programs, so you can put this one, or media production. So let me see, ano ba ang pwede dito sa akin? Hmm. Let's just use continuing education. Oh, cutie! Uh, now, these are themes. Sige, magtingin tayo. Ito yung ginamit ko last time, no? Hmm. Parang cute to. Or this one, or this one. Okay, this one. Let's try this one. We can always change that one, guys, later on. Which colors do you like? Uh-huh. Saan yung cute guys? I'm not really good with colors, designs, or any aesthetic for that matter. Uh, this one, anyway. Okay, next. Mm, let's say, oh wait, no. Let's say gallery events and uh, portfolio, of course. Ah, tatlo lang. Ito guys, yung mga ano, magiging tab mo sa taas ng website mo. Mm, so next. Hmm, I think we can... Uh, Pick the website you want to start with. Ha! Huh. Let's let's skip this step, perhaps. Okay. Take your site to the next level. Okay? We don't have money, kasi kung mga ganito, kailangan na natin ng pera, pambili ng ano, no? Ng domain. So skip again. Okay. So now building our website. Let's see the website. Hmm, cutie. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Medyo mahirap siya, ano no, i-edit. Andito yung home, andito yung gallery natin, events portfolio. Okay. So, how can we change this one? 
Mm. So, meron tayo dito sa gilid, guys. Let me just show you the dashboard or the things that you can do here. So, design. Tingin tayo. Beauty. So, ang ating palette ay mellow. Monserat ang ating font set. Sharp, rounded. How about rounded? Did it change? Ah, okay. As you can see, the buttons are now rounded. Ayoko nang ito na, ano, no? Parang lang din Microsoft Word. Can we edit this one? Ooh, this is cute. Ooh, that's better. Look at that. Ah, di ba? Parang professional ang dating. Or this one lang. Ooh, cutie. Hmm. So, guys, you can explore, no? Kayo. Enjoy din naman ito mag-explore, explore dito. Let's say pages. Ah, okay. So, kung dito tayo sa galing. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, done. Hindi tayo mag-domain. Settings. Ooh. Let's say, for this one, uh, to learn is to grow. Ooh, in fairness. Let's try empowerment. Ooh, what happened? Empowerment. Technologies. Okay. And this one. Pili ko ginawa niya kasing ano, no? Ah, no, not, not everything. To read more, this is just a button. At meron siyang link. At yun siyang gawan ng link. Or a page. Gusto ko, pag i-click niya yung read more, magpunta siya sa portfolio. Okay. And then... We have one free page left to use later. And then, paano niya nilagay yung ano dito kanina? Hmm. Paano niya nilagay yung subtitle kanina dito? What are these show elements? Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, no, no. I want to see that. Hmm. Ano to? Copy. Block design. Okay, what is the block design? Cutie. Okay. Try daw natin ito. Parang mas cute ito. Mm. Okay. He's cute siya. <laughs> Smart apps, news, when I'm busy. Okay, okay, okay. Image. So we can change the image or just the layout? How can I change the image? Okay, done. Wait lang. Paano ba ma-change tong image na to? Ano? How? Guys, as you can see, oh, hindi ko rin siya alam, diba? But I'm just trying to... What do you call this one? To check or to... Ah, ito siguro. Ayan, okay. To, um, explore things. Let's see, for my computer daw tayo mag-add image. Then this one. Mm, ah! So, pag empowerment technologies, let's say... Mm, ito daw. Pangit ba? Masyado yung dark. Mm, insert image. Cutie! Okay, let's see. Yes, hindi siya cute. Ay, tawag yun lang. Ah, I think because of the arrows, hindi maganda yung pagkaano ng arrows, no? Hmm. Sige, for now, ganyan na lang muna yan. Okay, wait lang. Ah, did I do it? Did I do it? Okay. This one, my story, let's say, module 2. Kung ngarik lang, okay? Module 2. Ay, sorry, module 2. It's all about, ah, it was the Titan online platforms and what you see is what you get editors. Ay! Amazing. Editors. Tapos kung read more, pag mag-read more siya, kailangan mapunta siya sa page. Let's say, gallery. Ah, okay. Ooh, cutie. Ooh, cutie! Dapat pala mo dyan ban yun. Okay, anyway. So you can try to, ano guys ha? Guys, huwag niyong gayahin yung ginagawa ko kasi sample lang ito. So, yung sa inyo, dapat pagplanuhan nyo lahat. For example, kung ang um, advocacy plan ninyo is all about social or, or uh, environmental issue, then dapat iba yung picture. Tapos, dapat may title din kayo na maganda, diba? Tapos, ito na part, kung meron mang tatlong na ganito, ano yun siya? Let's say, meron kayong tatlong advocacy, uh, tawag dito, tatlong lecture or maybe a video clip about uh, environmental issue awareness, no? Huwag niyong gayahin yung ginagawa ko talaga per se, ha? Kasi, ano lang to? <laughs> tawag dito, explore, explore, and... Um, tawag dito, sample lang. Okay? So, dito na part, maybe you can have your own gallery, like let's say um, clean up drives na ginawa ninyo or uh, you would like to advocate people to do clean up drives so you can search for uh, internet, uh, sorry, images online and you can use them. Pero guys, remember, do not use images that are copyrighted. Yung free lang ang gamitin ninyo. Or you can add up here or something. No, depende again kung ano ang advocacy ninyo. So, ganun lang yun siya. So, for changing pictures, again, no, yun, i-click nyo lang siya, and then, pag-click nyo, maglabas itong option na to, then you can click that, or you can even add, like, a video, try natin maglagay ng video, be. Hmm, kailangan ng link. Okay, let me 
Let me try getting a link. Okay. Let me just uh, put the link here. Oh, that is so good. Let's see if it will play. Ah, hindi ba mo play? Ah, okay. Later pa ata. So, ito pwede nyo rin itong palitan, guys. And you can also add a block. Add content. Ayan, for example, anong gusto ninyong content? Ganito ba? Ganito ba? Pwede ganito, pwede ganito. Pwede ito siya, pwede ito siya. Guys, ito mga spaces dito, you can add like another picture or ganito kaya. No, pwede nung palitan nyo yung mga bagay-bagay na yun. Okay? So, back. Paano mag-cancel? Okay, anyway, ito rin guys, pwede nyo rin palitan itong mga to. So again, you can simply run around and try a, lit, a lot of things, explore a lot of things in this one. Huwag kayong matakot guys, okay? Kung lang naman to. Hindi nyo naman ito, tawag dito. Huwag kayong matakot, just really explore things and try to make it as beautiful as possible. Publish. Last time guys, gi, ano ko na kayo, no? No, I don't like to get my domain. Ah, ito na siya, meron na siya. Okay, let me copy this one. Guys, um, this one, last time pinakita ko sa inyo yung Google Sites. You can use that one as well. Kung ayaw nyo gamitin ng Jindo, you can use Google Sites as well. Or Blogspot, or WordPress. Kayong bahala. Basta free, huwag kayong magbayad. <laughs> I mean, uh, of course, I would like to use free. Okay, because this is a, a, a project. Or you can use Facebook page if you are good in creating uh, Facebook pages. So, as you can see, andito yung mga pinagkagawa ko. Okay. Okay. Ano to? Ayan. Okay, mo tulad sa akin guys, basa-basahin ninyo yung mga ano. Consent and show. Play. Nice. Okay, so, pwede nyo mo i-play dito. Okay, sila nga yun, no? Pwede nyo magpunta sa Clarity. Ay, hindi natin inayos yung gallery, no? Sorry. Pati yung events, chapter for you. Okay, so, ito guys, kung gusto nyo puntahan yung website ko, ayan, ayan ang aking ano, URL. Pwede nyo puntahan yan. Okay, so, yan guys, ang gagawin ninyo. And again, kailangan yung advocacy plan ninyo ay clear and specific. Okay? So, thank you so much. Guys, madami pa kayong pwedeng ibang gamitin na, ano, na um, websites aside from Jindo. You can just search for, let's say, Builderbix. Pwede. Ah, ito, ito, ito. Tumago nito. Tingnan natin. 10 best free website builders. Okay. Ayan. Wix, GoDaddy, Weebly, Jindo. Site 1, 2, 3. Strikingly, Webflow, Webnode, you craft simple set. Okay. So, yan. Yan ang mga pwede niyong puntahan. Okay. But guys, um, itong Wix sa GoDaddy, mm, um, because they will probably ask you later to subscribe or to get domains. Try na lang, try nyo na lang itong mga nandito sa baba, itong site123 or Jimdo. Or, you know, um, kung ano, WordPress, ganyan, or Blogspot, yan, yan mga ano. And really guys, if you cannot, if you don't want to try these things, Google site. Kasi meron na kayong mga Google accounts. So, you know, it's easy. It's, it's easy to manipulate and almost the same as Jimdo as well. Okay? So anyway, thank you so much for watching the video lesson today. And if you have any other questions, so, if you have any other questions, please post it on the group chat or you can PM me directly. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video lesson. Subhanakallahu wa bihamdik. Ashhad al la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.